and welcome to the advice show the show for bringing you general advi advice oh, sorry I put my teeth back in ideas and thoughts on a range of subjects today I am joined by Lee Otway a former Hollyoaks actor and currently a filmmaker if you have any questions for us today you can get in touch with the show by tweeting us at Manchester advice show using the hashtag MCR advice or text advice and your message to 07548 200007 so Lee, thank you very much for joining us Pleasure, today. Pleasure, Alex. Thank you for having me. So mm. you originally um, were, came into the public eye for acting, didn't you? You were in Hollyoaks for a long, long time, were That's you not? That's right, yeah, yeah. So how did you get into that, first of all? Um, to be honest, Alex, uh, I, when I was younger, my mum and dad kind of sent me to a, a stage school, which is um, which, where I'm from originally, is, is Bradford. So uh, I was always a bit of a show off at school. I was kind of putting on plays and productions. So they sent me to this place and it was really good because what it did for us is it, it, it kind of, um, from a young age, it sent us, uh, they, they sent us for auditions. Right. So um, it kind of gave us a grounding of the television industry from, as I said, from a really young age. So I started doing bits of TV work, nothing massive, but just bits here and there. Um, so I mean, so you've always had this big personality, because so, you've come in here and you're like a live wire, and it's it's, it's oh, lovely to be, oh, thank be around. Thank you very much. I mean, do do you think that's a product from the acting, or you already had that, or do you think the, doing acting has g gained you confidence? I, I I think it has. I mean, for 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 me personally, I, I'm kind of um, I, I I always kind of promote outside activities for young people be it football, acting, gymnast, whatever it might be. And I just think for young people to have something to focus on. That's um, just it. Because too many young people are focusing just on, on online and... Yeah, or the, on, on social thing. media, that's it. So for me, it was great because, as you said, it kind of, uh, it kind of helped, helped acting really helped me with my confidence and, and, and kind of... Uh, Lots of skills that are universal to, to any industry, not mm. just specific to acting, you know. So, uh, yeah, I loved it. Because you were quite young when you started in Hollyoaks as well, weren't you? How, how old were you? 19. 19, 19 yeah. Um, so I suppose you, you did a bit of growing up while you were on Hollyoaks, did you not? Do you know, it, it, it were... I, yeah, I think probably a lot of growing up after Hollyoaks as well, to be honest, but... Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, we get to that later? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come to that. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, uh, I started at 19, as I said, so um, still a bit wet behind the ears with regards to acting, but it was a really fast-paced learning environment. When I first started Hollyoaks, it was uh, two episodes a week, and then by the time I'd left, it was what we see now, five One five every day, yeah. So I'm really grateful to have been there throughout that process. Yeah, to, yeah. To have witnessed it kind of go from... You were from, there from the start. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was kind of. I think when Hollyoaks kind of uh, really, you know, found its niche. I mean, it can You know, I'm not. It does go from strength to strength. I, I still watch it now when I get a chance, and it's now, in my opinion, better than ever. But I really um, feel grateful to have been there throughout that kind of process. That was kind of the catalyst to move it on to, I think, what it what it is now, and it's such a great show. Would you ever go back? We, we, you weren't killed off or anything, were you? Would you? Is the door still open there, do you think? Um, I wouldn't think so. Um, I mean, it's, to be honest with you, I, I, uh, I went back a few years ago, uh, just for a few episodes. Um, I mean, I, I, I'd be a fool to say no, wouldn't I? Acting's one of those industries where, um, you know, 97% of actors are always out of work. Exactly, exactly. So, to, you know, normally kind of the jobs that I did before, and you know, the, the few jobs I've done since uh, have been just the one-off gigs. So to get a long run like that, you know... You, it's every actor's dream, that's isn't it? it? That's it. Every actor's dream. Um, but on the other end of the scale, you know, you've kind of got, got to think about artistically, you know, to think about the character. Would, would the character fit in there now? I'm not too sure. You know, it kind of felt like when I went back for those episodes, like it had been nicely resolved. But, you know, the script writers come up with weird and wonderful ideas and great stuff. But they bring lines. people back from the dead, yeah, place, I know, so why not bring you back? I would like, I would like to, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. um, as I said, it, it's something, uh, 
it's, it's something I'd have to, I mean, I've, you know, I, I, I've just, I'm at university now, I've just done a master's degree in film wow. production. Oh, congratulations. So, yeah. so I'm kind of moving in, in that direction. So to go back to Hollyoaks, I still want to do other acting jobs. Uh, it's, it's certainly be something for me to think about, but it's something that I would, you know, I would have to think about it, but yeah. So talking about you were doing film production, um, you've made a film, haven't you, that's uh, done quite well, hasn't that's it? That's right, thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much for mentioning that. It was, um, as part of my course, uh, what, what kind of happened, Alex, more than anything, is after, after Hollyoaks, uh, I made a few kind of poor career choices. Uh, poor career choices being? Uh, well, I did some, uh, some reality TV and, right. uh, and, and my conduct, and I know you're aware of this. My conduct um, wasn't great. And, uh, shall, shall we tell the viewers a little bit more? You were on Love Island. I was on Love you? Island, yeah. For and you were, know. you were on probably one of the most memorable series, shall we say? That's right, yeah. And uh, who else was on it with you at the time? Uh, Paul Denham, uh, Callum Best. Um, I mean, to me, when I think of Love Island, I always think of your series. Because, Do you really? Yeah. And uh, I think I think you're probably giving yourself a bit too much hard time. You were a lot younger, weren't you? That's it. Um, we all kind of learn from his mistakes, I think. And I don't re regret anything because you ha you have to go through that period and you have to learn. You know, would I go? Would I behave the same now? So I just, I would, ta just I tell us how that. did you behave? What happened? Uh, oh God, I was a nightmare to live with. Really, uh, not you know. As, Aside from Love Island, not just in Love Island, I think just generally, for me speaking. <laughs> you were generally a yeah, nightmare. Yeah, I wasn't a nice person. I mean, it, it was kind of a case for me, too much, too young, and everything had come quite... Well, I would have said so easily, but it hadn't, because I'd acted for quite a long yeah. time. So it was that, that old kind of scenario of it takes years to build up a reputation that I'd worked years and worked hard to build, and that can just go in minutes. And I was young and stupid and... Uh, and an idiot, really. And I felt so basically, you fell in love on the show, didn't you? That's right. Yeah. And you kind of were a bit angry that it wasn't reciprocated. Well, I were, I was, <laughs> I were to, to put it to put it mildly. <laughs> I, I became absolutely besotted with this girl, absolutely obsessed. And uh, it's strange. I mean, I never make up excuses myself because uh, you know you you behave like that and you act like that. You've only got yourself to blame. Well, I mean, you paid the ultimate price. That's didn't you? it. That's you it. Did. I think so. And you know, it's, it it was a massive, uh, a massive learning curve for me, as I said, not just uh, for Hollyoaks, for other areas of my life as well, my conduct in general. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's that's as you said, Alex. It's part of growing up. You know, I'm 33 now. I'm not. And you, you know, you, you've got such a lovely demeanour about you now, and you're so humble and. You know, I think that's that's probably turned you into the person that you are now, having been through all of that and, and the backlash from that. Thank you very much. Because basically you. you smashed up the set, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, just be careful around these cameras today because I, <laughs> yeah. I might get going any minute. <laughs> so, um, and then you, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a great it, time, it, was it? It was a tantrum so of you, all times. So you made things. a few, there was a programme on last night, wasn't there? The TV's most embarrassing moments. Yeah. You managed to, what were you, number 10? It, it was number 10, yeah. I don't, I try not to watch, like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's been on once before. And I thought, you know what? I'll watch it. There yeah, you and we're hiding behind the cushion. Yeah, cringing from the yeah. way it came on. And, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, but, but on, a, on a serious note, I mean, it must have been mortifying for you. And, you know, did, did you, how did you get through what happened afterwards? Did you, did you get completely ripped apart by the media? Uh, not, not really, not, not massively, if I'm honest with you, thinking back. Uh, it was, it wasn't that that more than anything. Um, it was in the embarrassment. A, a bit of that, yeah. But I just I'm one of these kind of people that I just kind of a great advocate of you. You've got to kind of make your mistakes and have no regrets and move through it. So, uh, but for me, really, Alex, what it what it did have an effect on uh, was my acting, um, and that well, that's not just because of my conduct. To be completely honest with you. Uh, reality TV back then, and it's hard to kind of think back. But yes, it had a bit of a... It had such a taboo about yes. it. I mean, nowadays... Um, you, you nowadays watch, it enhances your career, that, really, doesn't right. it? But, it, but it, back then, it was a, a bit naff, wasn't it? it? It was. I mean, now you get, you know, I remember Nigel Havers, who's, you know, rather trained. He did, uh, 
he did I'm a celebrity get me out of here and, and you do you do get people you do get actors and well-known actors Craig Charles who, who I've watched his, his stuff for years and respected him obviously was I, I'm a celebrity and you know you, you get respected people now going on it back then it had it had such a taboo about it, mm. that it for an actor to do a reality show it was it, it was frowned upon it wasn't career suicide but it was frowned upon is, is being frank what it was um, and so from that, is that, is that, did you have a little time out to, to try and get your head together to, to think what you wanted to do next? Yeah, but it wasn't my choice, if I'm completely, completely honest with you. I just couldn't get seen. Um, yeah. Casting directors would kind of look at me and, you know, best, best case scenario, they'd say, you know, oh, uh, yeah, he was, he was in Hollyoaks, maybe we'll, we'll have a look at him. But the lion's share of the time it was, Oh, he was the guy that did Love Island, oh. and and it's like. So how did you stay positive throughout that? Well, I could understand it because obviously when you've been on a reality show uh, and you've displayed yourself as I had, but on those kind of round the clock things, when 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 you, when you're playing a character, Alex, I think that for people to kind of see the real you, it then must be difficult. And that, that was kind of the, the viewpoint that I had at the time for them to associate with you playing a character. Mm. As I said, things have now changed and things, things have, uh, have, gone, have gone the different way. But so I, I could understand it. And I just thought, you know what? I'll give it a bit of time. Yeah. Um, people forget about Love Island and, and you and know, then, And then in, in, during that time, you decided to go to uni, to start up a band. <laughs> more of what we're going to be talking about after the break Lovely. because uh, that's all we've got time for in part one um yeah unfortunately that's all we've got time for in part one but stay tuned because after the break we're going to be continuing to talk to lee see you in three <laughs> 